Hi boys, today we are looking at a context and overview of the poem Translucent Jade by Maureen Ten. First we're looking at the poet's context. So Maureen Ten was born in 1948 in Malaysia and she came to Australia with her family in 1989. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Malaya and a Master of Arts degree in Literature from the University of Kent in the United Kingdom. She's worked as a reporter, feature writer, columnist and a variety of other jobs and her heritage is Malaysian Chinese. Some background information of the poem. So Maureen Ten's Chinese name, Ten Chien Yu, means translucent jade. So her name, her Chinese name, is the same as the name of the poem. Jade is a green gemstone and it's highly prized in Chinese culture. Confucius said there are 11 virtues in jade, including music, loyalty and virtue. And ideas about music and loyalty come through in this poem. A Chinese saying is gold has value, but jade is invaluable. Translucent emerald green jade is the most sought after, highly prized type of jade. So there's varying qualities in jade. The translucent jade is the best quality of jade. In Chinese culture, rejecting a name is rejecting heritage. So it's really interesting in this poem that there's no negativity about rejecting the name. Overview of the poem. So the grandfather's gift is quite ambiguous in the poem. We don't know what the gift is until the end of the poem. It's not named until the end of the poem. It sounds like it's an object throughout the poem and then at the end of the poem it comes to mean the poet's name. There's generational issues with the mother and the grandfather explored in the poem. And the poem also considers the difficulties faced when leaving a culture behind through migration. 